What did you just say? I said I wanted to look good for the plane, and I look good for the plane. I'm going to Tassie, baby, <laughs> now get me a red wine. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. <laughs> we are here at the airport with a glass of red. Hey, you know the last time we were here, we were eating this morning? Yeah, and we're going to Byron, which was a year ago, which is probably like two vlogs ago. It was like six months ago. Um, <laughs> everyone's looking at us, we don't really care. Um, we are going on a Galentine's weekend to Tassie. Neither of us have ever been to Tassie. Em's doing some laptop work, not being super rude to the YouTube channel. Um, so excited for Tassie. But for now, we're going to drink a one. Officially in Tassie, and I've waited 27 years for this. Six. Six. Oh, that's good. Oh, funny. yeah. Ladies, <laughs> you right with the bags? Thank you. You closed me out. Absolutely. <gasps> okay, I hate to break it to you, but we're sharing your bed, and I did not. Oh, no, I didn't agree to that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Friends, we have made it to our room, and I thought I booked us two double beds, but. Turns out I booked us one. That's okay. I'm Everyone thinks we're in a relationship <laughs> anyway. But this place is stunning. It's such a nice day, and we're gonna go for a drink and some vegan food. Can't wait. Well, I also have the man at the reception was like, "So what? Are you, what's the occasion?" And I was like, "It's our anniversary." No, <laughs> you did it. You took it up. You looked at me and you were like, uh, "Should I say it?" So our anniversary is Valentine's Day because we obviously got together. Look at on this Valentine's sliding. Day. That's so cliche. Whilst we are here, we're doing a collab with Artisa, which is an incredible vegan uh, dairy-free cheese produced here in Tassie. And we've got some Tasmanian local wine and um, some blueberries as well. And this is their smoked cheddar and we're about to tuck into it. And I cannot wait. Emily, this looks amazing. So friends, we are off to dinner. Emily, where are we going for dinner? Monsoon Thai. We were going to go to Veg Bar, but a lot of people said that Veg Bar is a little bit overrated and we wanted to go somewhere different. So we're going to Monsoon Thai, which isn't vegan, but has vegan options. And then we're going to go maybe to a room for Pony for a drink. But we're ready. So we tried to get into Monsoon Thai, but it was closed. So we ended up at this really cute place called Three Japanese in Battery Point with a couple of vegan options on the menu. We were so hungry. This really hit the spot and highly recommend trying some local Tazzy cider too. What a treat. If you know, you know. We could have gone to a bar, but we ended up here and we're going to go home and eat it and we're not mad about it. This is such a vibe for us. Most people go up for cocktail crawls. We've come home for ice cream and tea and a movie. Well, doco. My fat face eating ice cream. <laughs> Yay. We have literally talked about staying in the hotel for so long. Emily's not happy about the fact that we don't have our own beds. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how good is watching a movie at 11 p.m. in bed? <laughs> Oh. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, an ice hot glass with the dash of soy, please. It's boiling hot. <laughs> Friends, we just finished a workout here at the hotel gym, and then we're going to go to Salam Salamanca Market. I got lots of food, and tonight we have a bit of a boozy night with some wine, some cheese. How was your workout? Yeah, Emily was like upstairs, oh, it's not gonna be too hard, and that was solid, so. Gonna <laughs> stretch, then go. It is Saturday here in Hobart, and it's looking pretty sunny, so I've dressed appropriately for sun. Um, and it does get cold, we're off to the markets. Um, I'm sure you guys will see other food and drinks we eat on there as well. And Emily is about to curl my hair. Welcome to the hair salon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, I'm fully unqualified. So today I just want a bob cut and a full curl. Can you do that for me? Bob cut. With a curl. Sure. Stunning. Emily, we're going on that later. 
I will teach you how to ride a scooter, <laughs> Emily. Also, no one at us because we don't have peep cups. They don't allow them here in Tassie. I also, tried, I tried. Also, they knew that we were tourists. They were like, well, do you think we look like tourists? We've got our bag and our camera and our vlogging. <laughs> we absolutely look like a local. like food we would make at home. It's so beautiful. We love a midday lay down. Um, we went to the markets, which were awesome, eating lots of food, and then we're gonna go to Mona Museum, and then we are gonna do our cheese and wine club by the water, and then a loft for dinner tonight. and that was literally the best museum. It was so good. You're like high on life. Yeah, just... It was so good. We'll talk about it later. Oh yeah, the best. So, so, so good. You must do if you're in Tassie. So we just got back from the Museum of Old and New Art and it was f***ing sensational. And I would highly recommend doing it. Definitely book the ferry. We spent maybe two hours there but probably could spend a little bit longer. Love, love, loved it. Yeah, so good. The best. Not sure if this is legal, so don't uh, try this at home. But it's legal. It's legal in Tasmania. Did you know? What to drink wine by the way? Drink wine in glasses. Yeah. So we are ready late to dinner. Off brand for us, but fashionably late. Fashionably late because we put in effort. Which, well, I put in effort. You always look good. Um, we're going to a loft dining, which is not vegan, but fine dining with a vegan menu and I am going to be writing about them in Nourish magazine so we really wanted to go here lots of people said it was good and we don't usually do like fine dining stuff we're all about like bang for buck oh, yeah. absolutely Emily looks fly um so we will let you know how Olaf goes definitely keen for a night out in Hobart and it's vibing we're looking good we're feeling ourselves and Pride Festival's on so that's yes. why we're gonna hopefully see some bang and dry things yeah mm -hmm. restaurant and we may or may not be here on work work terms but Emily is riding her number down. Alright go deliver off you go. Yeah do it. So a loft Emily and I are harsh food critics because we are very fortunate to eat out a lot because of my work and also just we love food and what would you review that? A 9.5. Which is so spend. good. We had this amazing like coconut honeycomb dessert. And so we were both like, well, we don't really like desserts. No, and, <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I love desserts. I don't like like coconut, you know. But it was sensational. And Emily has a story about the chef. I don't. Just that they have 10 out of 10 chefs. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry. Signing off. Uh, let's just do, uh, 
morning, friends. I think it might be day, I guess we got here Friday and today's Sunday, so maybe day two, I guess. Um, so Emily and I am just going down to the gym. I'm gonna go down and just do literally the simplest workout because we're both a little bit hungover. Not really, but like we had some wine. Um, and then we are going to Bay of Fires today, which is super exciting. But literally just looking at now at our view, I can see there's like markets on, there's fresh produce markets. And we're also going to go to Bury Me Bagels, which a lot of people talk about. I think they're like mostly plant-based or vegan. So I will obviously show you the bagels there. And then we're going to get our hire car and go to um, Bay of Fires, which is a spot for like stunning crystal clear water, content, rocks, nature. So I'm really excited for that. It was recommended by Halza, one of my favorite content creators. Um, she's done a really good uh, guest guide on like what to do in Tassie. So I will link that um, in the YouTube notes below. Otherwise, loving Hobart it is so nice. And Mona yesterday, like I'm still buzzing from it. It was sensational. Last night's dinner at a loft. Oh, chef's kiss, so good. So, so good and so different and so unique. We'll definitely, definitely go back. For now, I'm gonna go sweat out some booze and then we're gonna to go to the farmer's markets here because it's Sunday and on Sunday, there's fresh produce markets. And even though obviously we're not cooking here, highly recommend trying some berries and fresh fruit because it is like some of the best I've ever tried. Okay, gym time. Just ordered our bagels from Berry Me Standing and Emily. Bagels. I feel like that was okay, really first of all, bagels. Also, oh, look at this little mug that I got. He said it should last you a lifetime. And Sam, Sam, I'm gonna hold you up to it. Sam at Berry Me Bagels. Also, they had a mini toasted Minnesota. That was the only like. That was the only like American. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it wasn't like it was like. Which we bagels ordered, from of the course. States. Oh yeah. So what do we get? We got blueberry bagels. We have peanut butter. We got the. Special Hobart special. We got the lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Hobart's I with think chili. Because if you know me, I love chili. And the Minnesota. Minnesota and the mug and, and coffee. it's a perfect day here in Hobart. And this right behind us is the farm gate markets with fresh produce, and we're gonna go explore and then head to Bear Fires. Sriracha, the blueberry, I mean, the local produce peanut butter, and Emily's about to open the Minnesota toasty or ciabatta. And oh my god, look! <sighs> Have a bite. Yes. Absolutely love staying here at the Crown. Not sponsored. I completely wish it was sponsored, but highly, highly recommend. It's in a great location if you are in town. We are off to Bay Fires, and you better believe we're I taking. This is our car. Yeah, it is. is it? Yeah. Well, there's now another suggested spot to come for coffee in town is Born in Brunswick, and it looks so cool. Hopefully the audio is okay. Where are we off to now? Emily's not happy because her coffee. Welcome back to my YouTube. My, well, my coffee is the chunky one. It's all milk in here, but so where we were at Born in Brunswick. Oh, you want me to scream? We where just ordered veg bar. We ordered veg bar. These power bowls, which are gonna be so yummy, and then we're road tripping to Bay of Fires, and I'm driving because I am the designated mom driver. Being, you know, yeah. I feel like I've got that. <laughs> I feel like I've got that vibe about me, you know, mom sweater. This is a veg bar. Everyone said to come here. We are going to be dining because so we're heading to Bay Fires, so we just got bowls for the road. And I can't wait. What a 
She looked at my hair. She looked at my hair. She was like, yeah. do, you, do you need a shower? And I was like, pretty bad. no, I need to go to the bathroom. Snatch. Snatch. They just like screamed my name. Yeah, because you like, ran off. The boss me in this town of three people was like, she runs out of the store. She's like, Emily, this is traveling with Renee. <laughs> now you have to hold your This is traveling with me. It actually just baffles me that people eat these. Like, people <laughs> eat ducks. Why? Don't be weird. Don't eat ducks, okay? It's a no from me. Look at these little duckies. So cute. That is some texture. Mm. What is this, pumpkin? Are you a food blogger? Yeah. Don't you know who I am? Mm. I'm that girl with Melbourne Vegan Guide. Hello. So we're here at Bay of Fires. It is freaking stunning. Look at the colour in the rocks. Hopefully you can hear me because it's very, very windy. We've got my camera. I'm going to take it to photos and we're about to go have a dip even though it's so so cold um, at Suicide Beach which is literally just right here look at that crystal clear water it's so nice it's just really nice to get out of the city and have some fresh air and um, of course because it's Emily and I we got some awesome shots and content as well but yeah if you are in Tassie I highly recommend coming here to check it out but we just had the biggest influencer in the world's moment. I just dropped my phone in between two rocks after we had a nice swim and a content and it literally like got sliced in between these two rocks. Emily, literally, I owe her my life. She spent like half an hour bending, like bending with her hand, smeared in between rocks, trying to get it out with a stick. And both her heart rates are not where they should be. Kind strangers came to the rescue. Someone got a hook from the caravan and they got it out. Emily, I'd just like to publicly say I'm sorry <laughs> for the heart rate I caused you. <laughs> just look. <laughs> I love how you get on here looking like that. This is what I've caused. <laughs> Tonight's on me. I thought tonight was the night you were like, we're having takeout in bed. <laughs> we're going, we're going, we're well, going to You said you wanted to get laid. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Yep. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. I know. It doesn't look very it doesn't look very vegan friendly with that big prawny prawn. But we are gonna check it out. Much to our surprise, the wharf in St. Helens have a very big vegan menu and it looks good. We just like we sat down and we just lit up. I know, because we saw salad. In a, in a place we did not think we'd see salad. This is so good for a vegan oh, pub cell. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. So we just had dinner at the wharf and they have a super vegan friendly menu. Actually, they have an all vegan menu. Wouldn't say the service was great and it was quite bland, but we are very grateful for the veggies. And now we are looking at this beautiful sunset after what has been an incredible couple of days. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, and I can't wait to see what Emily has surprised me with. Um, I asked for an engagement ring, so no, I'm kidding, completely kidding. I need to say I'm kidding because people think that's serious. But anyway, now we're just gonna walk off our veg, go back to our hilarious motel and uh, watch a movie. Good morning. We are here in St. Helens. Emily is showering. We are off on a hike. Look at my hair. This is how I wake up every day. Um, we're gonna go for a sunrise hike. My radio breakfast alarm went off at 3.45. I forgot to turn it off. So yeah, we've been up for a while. But this is our really cute little motel and God, we have made a mess. Happy Galentine's! Oh, <laughs> I'm on the camera. I just got this really cute picture of my clients. They said, this is our Valentine's Day. Oh, cute. How cute are they? We're about to post this on Instagram. Right, we're 
Rise and shine, it's Galentine's. Can you tell them all how, how many times your alarm has gone off? Yeah, I'm, oh God, she's pissed. It might explain the bags under. These so, my alarm usually goes off at like 3.50 a.m. And this morning, it went off at I forgot to turn it off for radio and it went off. And Emily was like, it's 3.50 a.m. This is the third morning in a row that someone's alarm has gone off. Okay, so we're staying really positive on this trip, as you can tell. We're positive. Um, this is our final day here. We are in St. Helens, and we've had cup zero, which is a theory Emily created. I actually didn't, I didn't create it. Okay. It's from my Well, home. for the sake of the vlog, you created it. I created it. And you have a, a cup of coffee before you leave the house, and that's zero. That doesn't count as your tally. So that's a plan. Then we're going to go back to Hobart and make us some coffee, work from a cafe, chill out, whatever, and then get on the plane. And somewhere in there, Emily's going to do something really Valentine's Day like for me. So we'll keep you posted. God, the view! We have our coffee and our snacks in hand and we are on our way back to Hobart. The coffee place is called Coffee Away. Very cute. We got some popcorn and some apples and Emily's got the bliss balls. We are ready to go to Hobart. Okay, this spot, Little Lotus Cafe, it's also a yoga studio. It was honestly the best tofu scramble I've ever had. What a way to end our time in Tassie. Highly, highly recommend. Friends, as you can see, I'm clearly back home in Melbourne. Unfortunately, I had some massive issues with my phone. My phone just stopped working for four days because there's so much storage on it and I can't figure out why. Anyway, I hope you love the Tassie vlog. I loved Hobart. I love Tasmania. I would go back there in a heartbeat. And if you go to any of the restaurants or cafes or places we suggested, please let us know and tag me. But before you do, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Big love.